What's going on guys? As you can see, we finally went ahead and made the trade for Patty Mills and Marco Bellinelli. Um, I'm going to start out this episode first by saying that I, I recorded all the commentary live and then I realized that the um, commentary button was off on my game capture app. So I, I got none of the commentary. So I'm having to go back and record the commentary over this edited video. Um, as you can see, I, I've done a lot of trades early in the season, which isn't the most realistic. But you'll notice, like, now that I kind of have my team set, that there's not going to be many moves, if any, for most of the rest of the season. So I kind of got out of the way what I wanted to do with the team for the year. And, um, yeah, I feel like I added some solid veterans with championship experience I, I want to say Aaron Baines I, I should definitely know this is a Spurs fan but I'm pretty sure he was kind of into the bench player on that Spurs championship team um, I know he won the backup center but I think he was like kind of backup third string like him and Boban I want to say that was a championship team it's been a few years but um and, and Patty Mills obviously was a, was a big part of the uh, 2014 championship so as, as you can see we're off to a hot start with the Heat, and um, I kind of thought early on in this game that it was going to be a breeze, but um, you'll see Charlotte kind of makes a game out of it. So let's see, Graham with a nice little pull up, Jay. Devontae Graham is probably one of their better players. Um, Myers Leonard continue, continues to just really contribute to this team. Um, just really fits in the system nice. And that, that's kind of my theme for guys I'm picking up for this Miami series is just guys who fit. Um, Patty Mills definitely, you'll see, fits right in with the offense. Um, we have enough perimeter defenders where Patty's defense is kind of hidden, so that's good. Tyler, Tyler Hero um, off to a hot start. He has a really nice game. So we get our first look at Patty as a, as a Miami Heat and uh, gets a nice little easy layup to start out. Uh, defense is going to be an issue with him, like I said, but we'll surround him with good defenders and hopefully kind of hide it. So pick up the foul, but I, I'm loving Derrick Jones Jr. there on the fast break, just pushing the pace. And uh, do me a favor. Let me a comment and, and tell me what you think of the of the my uh, the Patty Mills get and uh, the Aaron Baines pickup as well. Like I said, I'm probably done making moves for the most part the rest of this season anyway. As, as Batum hits a nice little pull up. But um, I I will say I haven't been overly impressed with um how Duncan Robinson plays. Just his his sig shot in this game just isn't. It's as good as, I, as I'd like it to be. Um, he, he misses a lot of open threes, but he, he isn't, like, unplayable. And um, he's tall. He, he can get a shot up over guys. So I'm hoping it, in, in coming years he'll uh, he'll develop his three-point shot some. So you see we still, we still got a nice little lead after one. Um, love that play right there. Just kind of reminiscent of the uh, Spurs championship team. He attacks the rim, but ha has a wide open Patty Mills. Um, real life Spurs don't get enough shots like that right now in, in, in real life. I say right now, but um, during the season, when the season's going on. So I was not expecting Terry Rozier to dunk on Derrick Jones Jr. there, obviously. And that they get a nice little transition bucket with Miles Bridges. I, I would think Miles Bridges is probably one of their more promising players. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and go out of limb and say he's Charlotte's most promising player, especially in 2K. Um, athletic wing. He, he can shoot, defend. He's not a bad player at all. I think throughout this game, I tried to post up Malik Monk with Iggy. I just thought Iggy would be the bigger, stronger, more athletic player, and it did not work out well. And that's another thing that happened throughout the game, keeping Charlotte in, was just Cody Zeller getting offensive board after offensive board, putbacks, you see it here, gets to and one. Um, between that and Nicholas Batum just 
having the game of his life. Um, it, it was actually quite the matchup. Uh, I don't know if that speaks much for our Heat team, but Jimmy Butler struggled throughout. That was a nice little jumper, but um, as you can see, he's cold right now in the game. You know, luckily, even on a on a bad shooting night, he's he's playing great defense. He's making the right plays, helping the team out. So he's he's not a negative almost any time. But um, he's definitely helping the team a lot more when shots are falling, and the offense is just a lot smoother. I I did notice in the game, offense was running a lot better with Patty Mills out there than um than with Dragic. But I'm I'm still as of right now going to start Dragic. I just don't don't want Patty Mills guarding starting point guards. I'm kind of going to do what the Spurs do with them in real life, bring them off the bench. At least for the foreseeable future. And another offensive board and put back by Cody Zeller. I'm done his. I'm have to check his jump rating in this game. You see another one doesn't doesn't make the shot, but he gets two free throws. Green light. Green release. I don't know why I call it green light. I guess it's got a ring to it. Okay, so we're getting Hero off the screen. Um, I think I thought about shooting that, but I had a had a better looking pull up with Patty, and yeah, it was contested, but he knocks it down. But like I was saying earlier, um, a lot of the reason why I got him, it, it's because I, I kind of figured he'd just be a, a seamless fit into the offense. Like I don't have to go out of my way to get Patty Mills involved. Um, Kendrick Nunn, if I wanted to score with Kendrick Nunn, I, I would have to run play specifically for him he'd have to be wide open because his his shot has like a slow release um even still i i just did not like using him uh, if you're watching my videos you definitely figured that out by now ugly shot but it's halftime and um it, it, as you can see we gave up that lead down five and a half try to make it Try to make a comeback, but it, it was a bit frustrating at times. And Jimmy Butler is actually making a couple mid-range jumpers in this game. Not really something I noticed because he missed so many shots. But um, nice to see those falling in because he's not a great mid-range shooter at all in 2K. Not really good three-point shooter, but I think he's worse mid-range. Um, like if you see Cody Zeller get an offensive rebound and uh, put back in this video. Tyler Hero is awesome. He's um he's attacking basket off the dribble. As Malik Monk gets the uh, Steph Curry anima animation from the corner. But yeah, yeah, Hero's got the quick release. He's knocking down shots and he's going to be scary here in a year or two. When we get his ratings up, I mean, look at Myers Leonard, another guy, seamless fit, just posting up the small guy, making it look easy. That's what you love to see. Iggy knocks down the three. And hopefully, when I do replace Iggy and Jimmy Butler, you know, in, in upcoming seasons, then we'll, we'll we'll be able to replicate some of that defense but but I'm really hoping we'll get better shooters to, to fit with Batum getting to the line up Nicholas Batum was really aggressive in this game which is very unlike Batum if you're a NBA fan so we got a really good game in the third quarter we do get that lead back. Um, we're up by four. I want to say Charlotte comes back and and makes a run here. Oh man, Iggy probably could have defended that better. That that's on me. Spo calls the timeout. Get the bench players back in, or at least Patty. Hey, yeah, Patty with the open three. That that's money every time. I got I got his release down. All the Spurs players. You know I'll be getting some green lights. 
and that's a nice shot by Duncan. I'm I'm really hoping that his um his ratings will progress, his three point rating, and shots like that it'll be a lot easier, and he'll knock down a lot more when when I start getting green releases on those too. I think that's a three by Miles Bridges in nice shot. If I ever see him in free agency, I'd I'd be interested in picking up Miles Bridges. Not so much Nicholas Batum. Duncan Robinson gets open, and passes the ball out. See, I'm I'm already starting to kind of hesitate with him. Oh man, almost took a bad shot, but passed it up. Baines in the post and um really strong in the post there. That was that was a nice little finish, getting his own rebound, putting it back. Him and Myers Linder, they're a couple of the few guys in this game where like their strength really shows when you're playing with them. Um, you can't really post with with Aaron Baines, but if he's right under the basket. Um, and against a smaller guy, he, he's going to muscle him and, and finish sometimes. Not get swatted like uh, like Bam does a lot in this game. That's one frustrating thing. Bam Adebayo, it's, he's either dunking on you if you're right under the basket, or, you know, uh, sometimes it'll be like a shooting guard and they'll just swat him. It's kind of stupid, but... Is what it is. Um, the tomb continues to be aggressive, and as you see, we do have the one-point lead, but they're back in the game. Always nice to see Derrick Jones Jr. knock down a jumper. Uh, I really like how he's playing. He's been a solid contributor. Tyler Hero with a big shot, seven minutes left, put us up by. Looked like a three, but I guess it was a long two. Put us up by five, as you can see. Now it's a one-point game. Five minutes left, so whoever goes on the next run probably wins a game, I would think. And see, Hero's doing a little bit of everything. Um, just out hustling Charlotte. Even Cody Zeller, the best rebounder in uh, in 2K apparently, but not quite as good as Tyler Hero. Fast break, you know he's gonna throw that down. Nice dunk by Derrick Jones Jr. Let's go, got a five point lead now with five minutes to go. Try and close it out. Looks like we have Jimmy Butler and a couple guys coming back off the bench to close the game. Really would like to see Patty Mills in the, in the closing unit um, to finish games. I, I don't want to start him, like I said, but I, I'd rather have him out there at the end of the game than Drogic. Um, it's nothing against Drogic. I just I feel better, especially in 2K, just taking big shots with, with Patty Mills. Um, like an open three. If, if Patty's wide open, you know, nine times out of ten, I feel like I'm going to get the green release with him. Drogic, and eh, not so much. Not that he's a bad shooter by any means, but it's definitely not the same. Um, Drogic does have a, knock, a knack for steals, though, so I'll, I'll give him that. That's why he's keeping his starting job. The defense has been pretty solid. He's, he's a little slow on defense, but he gets a lot of steals. You see, Tyler Hero has uh, 17 points. I think one of the things I pointed out when I tried to record this originally was, as you see, Tyler Hero gets a, what, 20? Was that, I, th I think this is Hero's season high, which is, this is a rookie, is his career high of 20 points. So, I think I pointed that out in the stats, but I, I doubt it's going to show up in the video. Scary Terry's wide open there. We can't give up a 10-point lead here. There, luckily, there's only two minutes left. Let's see if we can protect the lead. Drogic don't do anything stupid, and he does. This is why I'd rather have Patty Mills out right now. You can also see the Gatorade little sign, so I, I guess Drogic is pretty gassed at this point. So, big opportunity for a wide open three here. And he does knock it down, so credit to him. That, I would think, pretty much ices the game.
And so I guess if you're watching this, just let me know what you think about the uh, the non-live commentary, the the commentary recorded after the after I edit the video. Um, in the future, I'm probably going back to live commentary. It's just easier to put together the videos for for 2K like this anyway. I can't believe they're they're double teaming Drogic. That's kind of silly. Jimmy Butler is wide open, five-point game, and now that definitely puts the game out of reach. 30 seconds left. Looks like they're not even going to foul there. Eight-point win, and we'll take the W. Guys, do me a favor. If you enjoy my content, continue to watch my videos, like, subscribe, comment. Um, I really appreciate it. So I did show here that uh, Tyler Hero got his career high of 20 points. Uh, he broke the 19-point uh, the threshold that he – Originally had Patty Mills had a great game. Um, Myers Leonard continued to ball. It, as you can see, Jimmy Buckets wasn't too great. Um, Bam did his thing. Dragic had five steals, so I'm glad I emphasized his uh, that ability of his.